Practicing dexterity on a Gill 5-minute dexterity fiber optic model. Keep view central and make small moves. I'm using a flexible non-fiber optic scope, but for simplicity's sake, I'll always be saying fiber optic. And I'm going to swing around so that you can see the approach that you would make with the fiber scope. Here's a fake trachea and fake vocal cords made with cutoff syringe and tape. And there are two cutoff endotracheal tubes like fake bronchi. You can pick one or the other, and then you go down that fake bronchus and go to the target area of cut off pieces of suction tubing. Choose two to three targets and back out, and then do the same on the other side. After reviewing the entire field, which is taped down securely and the target areas are wound up very tightly with pieces of tape, then you can put a towel or a pillowcase or anything else that you might have on hand on top of it for your practice or for someone else's practice. That way it'll be very similar to what you would see clinically where you enter into a certain area, the mouth or the nose, and then everything else you must be seen through the fiber optic scope. Always leave out the vocal cord area so you know where to enter. And hand positions should be identical to those in clinical positions. It is easier to sit down if the model's on a table, or if it's higher up, then you can stand. Because there's a lot of light reflection from the video screen, I don't want that during filming, so I'm going to turn the lights out. And so, friends, here I'm entering the fake trachea, and I backed out a little bit so that you could see the vocal cord fakeness. And now I'm passing through the fake trachea, there's no dexterity, and entering into one or the other of the fake bronchi. Pick a side, I'll pick this one, that sounds okay. Go down again quickly because again there's no dexterity. And slide out until you're seeing the target tubings. Here I can't see it because the towel is bending downward, so I'm going to adjust it to make it more taut, and then the targets will come into view. Often you can enter into a target that is closest or easiest. That's fine, it's okay to start with. Just go down it a short distance because you don't want to spend a lot of time in one spot. And that's the limit of dexterity in that position. And then you can back out and choose a more difficult target. As usual, always keep anatomy you want to see in the middle of the screen and go slowly. I'll go to the highest target. Once I've been satisfied that I've entered with the fiberscope tip, then I'm going to back out. You can keep picking targets for a while, whatever you'd like. For the sake of time, I'm going to back out quite a ways and back out into the fake bronchus area, and then I'm going to pick the other side. The towel might give a little bit of difficulty, as you might anticipate, but then that's the way it is clinically with various soft tissues. So now I am entering on the left fake bronchus, and again, I'm going to go rather quickly through it, because there's no dexterity there, and get to the targets for more practice. It almost looks as if the, when I come out that the towel might be a problem. Usually it's not, and this ends up being exactly like that. Everything's fine, and I'm going to go on to pick a target. Once I'm in the target, I come out relatively quickly. Again, small moves keeping the view in the center of my screen because if it's not in the center and I make a move, then I'm likely to fly off in an area that I'm not wanting to be in. and Things will go pink in a patient's uh, body or white. So whenever you want, at some point, you can always look at your course, at the model in other words, by lifting the towel up. You should practice this course uh, for at least 10 minutes or until you find that you're not making much error in movements, and then you can make this dexterity course more difficult. 
I'm going to turn the lights on. To make it more difficult, you can put anything you want next to one of the elements of the course, causing a slight deviation to the left or right, or put something underneath the course so that your fiberscope has to go from an upper direction to a lower direction. So that's it. I hope you had a good time with this. It's not expensive. Use discarded clean equipment, keep views in the middle, make small moves, and good fiber scoping.